Welcome back to the future of hunting and some lessons in fishing. I challenge you to catch one out of here. If you walk walk over there and walk down the little isthmus and, and show us show us how it's done. <laughs> That's not <wild. laughs> <be> easy. <laughs> You don't know how to set it is what it is. Yeah. You're supposed to flick your wrist a little bit. Yeah. Dude, what what do you think the first rule you should tell the boys about fishing? What's the what's the number one thing you need? Sharp hook. Sharp hook. I'd sharp say hook. sharp hook. Sharp hook. I think sharp hook. When you say sharp hook, you'd be yeah, the best number one. Absolutely. You agree? Absolutely. Did you uh check see how sharp yours were? No, I did not. Preparation and gear are as important as the fishing and the follow-up. If you're skilled enough to catch a fish like the rest of the kids on our Allegheny Whitetails fishing adventure, then you better know how to cook them. From the field to the table, here we are with another fast, easy recipe, and today we're doing trout. Now the fish the boys are catching at Allegheny Whitetails are big enough to fillet, but what happens if you're a Vermonter like me and you're after these tasty little brook trout or a smaller fish? Well, I got the perfect recipe for you, and it's pan fry. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over here and we're gonna add oil to our pan and get that up to about 350 degrees. Come back over here, and while that oil's heating up, we're gonna take these trout and we're gonna dredge them in flour, which is pretty simple. All right, and once we got our fish covered, it's as simple as adding them to the frying pan. Again, we're looking at about 350 degrees and you're talking maybe three or four minutes per side. When they start to crisp up and brown, you know it's time to flip them. So from here, we're gonna transfer the fish over to a paper towel lined plate, try to soak up a little bit of that oil. Now you're gonna say, oh no, Kevin, you didn't fly it. What about the bones? Well, the trick is how you pull it apart. Check it out. Now, if you take this fish and you stand it on end like so, and you remove that dorsal fin. Now, literally with a couple forks, this is as simple as, as pulling it and it should come right off the bone. Look at, again, once you get it that far, simple as grabbing that spine. And there you go, people. We have some bone-free trout. And from here, it's as simple as adding a little bit of lemon juice. All right, a lot of that, I like lemon and a little bit of salt. I like salt too. <laughs> and there you go. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Thanks for watching. Did you know that fish was brain food? Eating fish triggers your brain to be sharper and more efficient. 